G'day, this video is just uh, to help you understand area similarity. So you've got two similar shapes and we're trying to compare the area um, of, of each shape. Now, um, you can read this here and it says right at the bottom, it says the area of the similar shape is equal to K squared multiplied by the area of the original shape, where K is the scale factor um, of you know how much bigger the, the shape is. Let me prove this to you. Um, it's for all shapes, but let me I'll prove it to you using triangles. Imagine we've got these two similar triangles here. So they all have the angle A, um, B, and C. And this base we know is four and the height is three. This base is eight and the height is six. So the area for this one would be just simply a half times the base times the height, which in this case is gonna be, what's that, 12 divided by two, so that's six. The area of this one is going to be a half times eight times six, which is a half of 48, which is in fact 24. Okay, um, as you can see, or sorry, let's go back to our scale factor now. How much bigger is this shape over here than this shape? We can see that three doubled is six and four doubled is eight. So the scale factor in this case is two, as in this one is two times as big as this one. So therefore, that would be what k is. So if k is two, then the area of this one, according to this formula up here, the area of this one should be two squared times bigger than the area of this one. And in fact, it is, because it is four times bigger, and that's what two squared is. So that's an example. Let me just prove that to you using letters rather than uh, numbers. Imagine that we have here these two triangles. Again, you know, same idea. The scale factor in this case is going to be k. It is this triangle here is k times bigger or smaller because k can be bigger or smaller. But we're going to say that k is uh, b is k times bigger and h is k times bigger as well. So the scale factor is actually k in this case. Okay, and over here we've got this one would be a half base times height to work out the area, and this one would be a half base time or sorry which is bk multiplied by hk so we end up getting a half k squared b times h now as you can see the only difference between these two is the the k squared so this one here is k squared times bigger than this one over here that's actually true for all shapes so if you want to know what the the new area is or the area of the of this shape we simply need to multiply by the scale factor, um, you multiply that by this area over here. It's true for rectangles as well. If we have a look at this, that one is going to be length multiplied by width. And over here, this one will be LK times WK, which is K squared L times W, which is, again, K squared bigger than the original one. It also works for circles. It works for every shape, but it works for circles as well. So in this case here, that's going to be pi r squared. And this one over here, it's going to be pi times the radius squared, which is actually r k squared. So that's pi times r squared times k squared. So again, the area of a similar shape is equal to k squared multiplied by the area of the original shape. So it's true for all shapes in two dimensions. And in fact, it's true for all shapes in three dimensions. If you have two shapes, uh, sorry, two solids that are similar and the similar fa similarity factor is k, well then the volume, instead of being k squared, would actually be k cubed. And it's simply because you've got the three dimensions that you're actually getting bigger in. So therefore you have to multiply it by um, k cubed. Uh, again, I hope that has helped you. Um, let me know if you have any problems.